Um, pretty good. So, I mean, honestly, I think we can uh, start this off. Uh, just we'll dive right into it. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, you played starting minutes, and uh, we see you, like, before warm-ups, kind of skating on one leg, doing little movements and twitches. Just how kind of has it been, I know, with Bergy and everybody? It just looks like you just have a ton of fun out there. Oh, yeah. You know, like, everyone's, everyone's on the team has been great with, you know, uh, kind of, like, letting me do my own thing. You know, I know, uh, I know I'm know i definitely an oddball out there, but, uh, you know, the coaches and the guys on the team, they've all been great, you know, supporting me throughout the whole year. So I really couldn't have asked for a better group of guys this season. So, Phil, I mean, you you kind of – you kind of had a, a bit of a twisty road to OU. I know, you know, you're originally from New Jersey. Uh, you played for the uh, the Junior Blazers here in Oklahoma City. Then you went to Chatham University, uh, NCAA Division Three, up in Pennsylvania. You left there. You came to OU. Uh, you didn't play much last year, I think, except for a couple games against Texas A&M. And uh, now you're the starting goalie for the Sooners. Yeah, so. yeah, it was definitely funny how that works. Uh, it was definitely a bumpy road. Um, honestly, if you ask, if you asked me at the time, or if you had told me at the time when I played at the Blazers that I would be playing, I would be the starting goalie for OU in some time. I probably would have laughed at you, but you know, uh, everything happens for a reason. I guess. You know, one door closes in life, another one opens, and uh, here we are. And, you know, I guess everything happens for a reason, but uh, I'm happy where I'm at. But you're definitely right with that. It was a twisty, rocky road to get to where I am right now. Now, um, I I believe, I may be wrong here, but I think uh, Peter Arvanitas told us that he recruited you uh, when you were with the Blazers before you decided to go to Chatham and uh now, uh, now you you've come back and uh, Arvanitas is gone. You're kind of overseeing this transition from him yeah. to Josh Berge. So, uh, how how has that been? Um, it was. It's definitely been a. It's been a massive change, and that's not a slight on Pete at all. You know, that's just uh, things are just run differently under under Berge. Um, yeah, I think, uh, if I recall correctly, Pete did try to recruit me out of the Blazers a bit, and uh, I think I might have just had my sights set on, you know, taking my shot at Division Three. But, you know, like I said, everything happens for a reason. Um, going back to the transition, it's just uh, it's just a different culture around Berge. Um, and that's, if I'm not mistaken, that's been his mission since day one he comes in. Uh that was in, his first, in one of his first meetings. He says he wants to change the culture. Um, but like I said, no slight on Pete. It's just, uh, you know, I think I think Pete, or I mean, I think Bergie really uh, really embraced the culture change that he was uh, that he was bringing along with him. And I I, I love playing for him. He's been great. He's been great to me. He's been great to the team. So no complaints over here. What are some of the big ways? Uh, that you feel like the culture's changed? Like, what are some examples of the changes that Bergie's made here? Uh, yeah, yeah. So, honestly, all, the, all of these, all of these changes, they, you see them in practice. Um, you can, you can see them in our, in our games sometimes, you know, uh, you know, we weren't the best with, in certain areas of our game, but in practices, we're, everything was much more intense in practice. Everything was, everything was more fierce, uh, Bodies were being thrown much harder, much more frequent. It was, it was just a tighter ship, you know. Ran under, ran under Berge, I say. So, uh, looking at what you did this season, uh, statistically, I mean, uh, a winning record as the starter, three shutouts, uh, just under a 9.30 save percentage. Really, a solid first year uh, as OU's full-time starting goaltender uh mm -hmm. how are you looking to build on that going into next season oh yeah you know um for sure i was it was definitely uh one of the one of the best years of my career for sure um i think even with the uh you know even with the stats where they're at with the last game of the year you know missouri state i was you know i was within a stone's throw of breaching 930 so i think uh even with everything even with all the pretty stats you know it, it was a good year but 
I know personally that you know I can improve on that. There was a couple one goal games in there. You know, just uh, you know, one more save in those games, and those, that shutout number is a little bit higher. So there's definitely. I do feel like I had a good year, but I do feel like there's definitely room for improvement. So get a good off season, get a good off season to work in, get healthy, get back on, get back to it, and uh, bounce back for a stronger year next year. Now you uh, you also had a couple of accomplishments uh, outside the the statistical realm. Uh, you went v- kind of viral, not not once but twice <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, the first was for a uh, for a video uh, of you after the OU shootout win uh, at UCO. You and your uh, celebration that we probably shouldn't describe in too much detail on here <laughs> and then later in the tournament you um you you had a a great save against uh michigan dearborn that was i i believe published to the main acha account and got some traction on there too so uh are you looking to make some more highlight social media highlight plays too absolutely, next year absolutely absolutely i'm just getting warmed up my friend i'm just getting warmed up um, the, uh, the celebration, <laughs> just to touch on that, I will admit that I completely blacked out during that. It was, I have to look at the video just to remember what happened. That was such a intense and it was such an intense atmosphere. It was just kind of in the moment, just kind of happened. Uh, the save that was, you know, kind of another thing is just in the moment that was, we were down three, one in the game. And, uh, if I remember, we. I like just I just gave up what I felt was like a bad goal, so I feel like I needed to make up for it. But uh, it was definitely nice to get noticed. Um, definitely brought some traction. Definitely, uh, you know, brought some waves along with it. But absolutely, I'm just getting warmed up here, man. So hopefully, you guys see me. Uh, hopefully, see me on the Instagram or social media wires. Sometime. Yeah. So yeah, Phil. Uh, you know, sort of a dumb question. I you know you kind of played on this. Uh, Definitely were in the running for being a lot higher in the standings. Uh, and despite who the team may be losing, guys like, you know, Beam, Lara, you go down the list. Uh, how yeah. sweet would it be to win the uh, WCHL trophy? Um, I think it's it's within our grasp. I think we're, we might be a couple players away, maybe a couple goal scorers here and there. Um, other than that, I think... We we got the core for it, you know. We still have Paul DeSouza coming back. We still have Cam Brown coming back. We still have a lot. We have a strong rookie class, you know. I think Clayton Brown played a very underrated role this year. Trevor Finch was great. Scott Joy. There's a, I, I can name a lot of guys that are young and are coming back. Um, but I mean, I trust I trust that Berg is going to bring in new faces, new new talent. He knows what this team needs. Um, so I think even with our with the players that we're losing, we're gonna miss them. They contributed a lot, but uh, I think we're still just a few pieces away. And I think everyone on the team trusts Bergie to uh, to fill those holes, and uh, we'll be right back to where we need to be. Well, Phil, we really appreciate you coming on. I know it's been a couple weeks in the making. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I really appreciate it, and uh, I mean, we'll see you flashing the leather, I guess, doing some of those really like Kudrow roll type saves uh, here <laughs> in a few months. Hopefully, man. Hopefully, sounds good. Thank you guys for having me.